up Kavanaugh. Uh, joining us now is legal affairs correspondent Nina Totenberg of NPR, among the foremost reporters ever of all things Supreme Court. Uh, Ms. Totenberg, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us on this big night. Uh, it's my pleasure, Rachel. So let me just get your, your top line reaction to the president choosing Brett Kavanaugh. It seems like from the survey we've done over the course of this evening thus far, he is both an expected choice, somebody who wouldn't be a surprise choice for any Republican president looking for a Supreme Court nominee, but also one that is seemingly raising some, uh, some, some controversial issues that other nominees might not have, have raised. What's, what's your take? I think that this is from the president's point of view and from the point of view of conservatives is a smart choice. You saw a very graceful, gracious nominee, not nearly as stiff as Neil Gorsuch was at his announcement hearing. Somebody who's used to Washington, who's already been mauled by the Senate Judiciary Committee at least once, um, and somebody who is likely to be able to handle it. On the other hand, if he's confirmed, one assumes that he will be an enormously influential member of the court and very quickly. If you've already written 300 opinions in the D.C. Circuit, which handles the big regulatory cases, which handles big separation of powers cases, he hasn't actually ruled specifically on Roe versus Wade, but he has it ruled on a whole bunch of other stuff, and they can see that he will be able to carry the water. And in some ways, he doesn't even have to carry that heavy a pail of water if you've got five very conservative members of the court, which you now do. Nina, in terms of his expected uh, role on the court, as you say, if he is confirmed, what have we learned about him over the course of his 12 years on the D.C. Circuit in terms of his... Um, his, his, not just his temperament, not just his ideological place on the number line, but his, his skill as a jurist and his, uh, his, his, the way that he works with, uh, with other judges. He is, as I said, an enormously skilled and very conservative jurist who, as far as I can tell, gets along with his colleagues very well, uh, can slice the salami pretty thin when he needs to in order to win a victory, and is a something of a team player and not sort of a rogue on your own, I'll dissent from everything in whatever small ways I don't agree person. And that is the picture of somebody who is potentially a very influential member of the United States Supreme Court. 